ringing of the temple bell in Buddhism is a deep and sacred ritual steeped in ancient tradition. It is calling of the people to come together to listen to the Dharma, the teachings, and to signify the beginning of a temple service. It may also be struck to signify an important event and to celebrate an auspicious occasion or to alert the populace of an impending event. The temple bell you hear represents the gratitude and deep appreciation of the members and friends of the Hompa Honganji Mission of Hawaii throughout the state of Hawaii to all the healthcare workers, first responders, police officers, firefighters, and to all businesses that are tirelessly working so that we may continue to safely live during this Corona-19 virus pandemic and often at the expense of their own safety and well-being. We ring the temple bell to honor our government workers, our governor, and mayors of our counties as well. And we present all with a gift of ringing the temple bell as a symbol of their leadership in deep gratitude. During times of crisis, we have a choice to give in to fear, or we can rise up with courage and compassion. I want to offer my thanks to all the frontline and essential workers who are risking their lives to keep us safe here in Kona and all across our state, our nation, and throughout the world. True compassion is not passive. It is dynamic activity that has the power to transform and to heal. How do we care for one another? How do we make our world better? How do we respond in times of crisis? Our attempts to live with compassion is never wasted. What you do matters. There's a story from the Buddhist scriptures which teaches us 
about the virtues of compassion, gratitude, and self-sacrifice. Once there was a great forest in which there lived many animals. All of the animals loved the forest. The forest was their home. One day, however, the forest caught fire. All of the animals worked feverishly to put out the fire. After all, the forest was their home. Without the forest, where could they live? However, despite their efforts, the fire grew and grew. Finally, the great lion, the leader of the animals, called out to everyone, "Run for safety! We cannot put out the fire." The animals fled to a safe area, and watched in sadness as the fire continued to burn. They noticed, however, that a little bird continued to fight the fire. This little bird would fly to a nearby pond, drop down into the water, wet its body, and then fly over the forest fire, flapping its wings, dropping a few droplets of water over the fire, back and forth. Back and forth, the little bird worked. The other animals called out to the bird, "Are you crazy? It's dangerous. How do you expect to put out the fire that way?" Finally, the little bird stopped for a short rest and came by the animals. The little bird said, "The question for me is not can I put out the fire. The question for me is what can I do? This is all that I can do." I'm only doing what I can do, and with that, the bird returned to fighting the forest fire. As the flames of chaos and uncertainty engulf our world, thank you for running towards the fire for the sake of others. We will do all that we can to support you. With deepest gratitude, mahalo.